didn't order that. I ordered tea and toast. I know, madame, but that gentleman at the table over there. Tell the gentleman it's very kind of him, but I couldn't possibly accept it. Please take it away. I'm sorry, monsieur, but the lady refuses. Bring her another one. Waiter, I ordered tea and toast. Have one glass of champagne with me, and I'll get you your tea and toast. May I open it? You may not. Don't you like champagne? Not now. But you're in Paris, mademoiselle. In Paris, you can drink champagne any time, day or night. Oh, I know. In America, you save it for special occasions, like a ball or a wedding or a birthday, or at night when you're in love. But here we are always in love with our city. Won't you drink one toast with me to Paris? You're very persistent, monsieur. Uh, garçon, another glass. You've just arrived, haven't you? It shows in your eyes. They're expectant and a little bewildered. May I ask you where you are staying? Well, I shouldn't. Talk to strangers. I'm staying at the Georges Saint. I am too. No. What a wonderful coincidence. Let's drink to it. Good champagne. I'm glad you think so because I'm selling it. Andre Dumont, representative of Wines and Champagne. And what's your name? Jean Colton. Are you traveling with your mother? No, I'm a companion to Mrs. Van Deeren. I shouldn't be sitting here. I was only supposed to take the dog for a walk and. Not drink champagne with strangers. Don't run away without giving me a date for tonight. Oh, I couldn't see you tonight. I couldn't possibly. How long are you going to stay in Paris? A couple of weeks. You see, Mrs. Van Deeren came here to buy miniatures. She collects miniatures and also paints them. That's very interesting. I have two miniatures of Napoleon and Josephine. Very rare pieces. Mrs. Van Deeren might like to see them. I'm sure she would. Will you ask her when I may drop in and show them to her? You're very clever. Perhaps this afternoon. I'm not going out with you tonight. But she would be there this afternoon. I really have to go now. It's getting terribly late. Well, finish this one glass with me. It's going to my head. Not the champagne. Paris. Have a nice walk. Lovely. We went all the way up the Champs Elysees to the Arc de Triomphe. And Kiki behaved very well. Oh. She did everything she was supposed to do. Oh, good girl. Did you pick up my diamond from Juliet? Yes, I did. Hello? Oh, uh, no, I haven't. Oh, I can't. Really, I can't. Not now. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Who was that? Uh, a gentleman. He lives here at the hotel. I just... Uh... Someone you just met? Yes. Is he nice? Well, he seems very pleasant. Of course, I hardly know him. I sat down for a moment at a cafe and he started talking to me. Oh, I hope you don't think that. Oh, as long as he's a gentleman, there is no reason to be embarrassed. You say he lives here, at the hotel? Yes. I told him you're collecting miniatures, and he suggested I ask you if he could show you some of his. Oh, why don't you call him back and ask him for tea tomorrow? Oh, well, that's very kind of you, Mrs. Van Deeren, but I don't want you to do that for me. Nonsense. I'm interested in his miniatures. Go on, call him back. Would you connect me with Monsieur Dumont, please? Yes, Andre Dumont. Monsieur Dumont, uh, this is Jean Colton. I've talked with Mrs. Van Deer and, and she wants me to ask you if you could come for tea tomorrow. Oh, no, not today. 
No, really, I couldn't. Well, that's, that's very kind of you, but I couldn't today. What is it? He says he has two tickets for the symphony tonight. Yes, yes, I'm talking to Mrs. Van Deren. Why don't you go with him? I don't need you tonight. I'm going to bed early. I don't know if I should. You like going to concerts, so go ahead. Hello? Well, I just talked to Mrs. Van Deren, and I would be free tonight. Oh, no, that's too early. If you'll just pick me up for the concert at 8 o'clock, I'll be ready. Thank you very much. Goodbye. You'd better go down to the hairdresser. You want to look your best, don't you? But... It... Oh, go on, go on. Make yourself pretty. You won't meet a nice young man every day who can make you blush even over the phone. L'air de Paris met votre corps en fièvre Et des baisers chantent sur chaque lèvre Cœur de girouette, terre de la tête Vos amourettes de millinette Sont les fleurs qu'un seul poète s'est donné C'est Paris où l'amour ne sait que rêver Cour de Montmartre, on voit Paris qui brille Quand le bois de Boulogne s'en fera toutes les filles Quand la tour Eiffel embrasse un nuage Le même secret berce tous les visages Cœur de girouette, l'amour vous guette Perdez la tête dans les guinguettes L'air de Paris met votre corps en fièvre Et des baisers chantent sur chaque lèvre Cœur de girouette, perdez la tête Vos amourettes de millinettes Sont les fleurs qu'un seul poète s'est donné C'est Paris où l'amour ne sait que rêver Well, where are we going from here? It's nearly two o'clock. I'll have to be going home now. Si tu m'aimais, et si je t'aimais, comme je t'aimerais. That's from Toi et Moi. You know it? It's one of the two books I always carry with me. Really? And what's the other one? Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman. Oh, I've never read that. I'll loan it to you. A uh, quelques euros, s'il vous plaît. No, no, c'est là. my room. Well, I want to thank you for a very lovely evening. Am I going to see you tomorrow? Of course. You're coming for tea to Mrs. Van Duren tomorrow afternoon. I meant alone. Well, I don't know. I'll try. Will you really? Yes. Yes, of course. Thank you.
Morning. Come in, Miss Colton. I thought this was Monsieur Dumont's room. It is. But well, where's Monsieur Dumont? That's just what I want to ask you. You were with him tonight, weren't you? How do you know? Let me ask you a few questions first. How long have you known Monsieur Dumont? A couple of days. And what did he tell you about his profession? Nothing, except he sells champagne. Very interesting. Who are you? Never mind. Has he done anything wrong? No. Are you from the police? No. Well, then you have no right to question me about Monsieur Dumont. Are you so sure his name is Dumont? This is really excellent workmanship. Yes. My great-grandmother was lady-in-waiting at the court of Napoleon. It was given to her by the emperor himself. Napoleon? Mm -hmm. How thrilling. Would you mind if I kept these for a few days? Oh, no, of course not. Oh, Jean, see who it is, will you? Your tickets for tonight, mademoiselle. Oh, thank you very much. Our tickets. Do you like opera, Mr. Dumont? Uh-huh. We are seeing Fidelio tonight. Ah, one of my favorites. Oh, then we must try and get another ticket for you. <laughs> You're very kind, Mrs. Van Deren, but... You haven't any other engagement, have you? No. Well, then, where's our tea? Right here. Give me the desk, please. We both enjoy a handsome escort once in a while. The desk? Ah, this is Mrs. Van Deren speaking. You just sent up two tickets for the opera tonight. Could you get me another one? Uh, the number of the box is... Uh, yes, 12. Oh, good. I'll count on it. Thank you. It's all settled. Thank you. Jean, now that we're not going alone, we'll have to put our best foot forward. What are you going to wear? Mm. Oh, what about the organdy? As you wish, Mrs. Van Deren. Oh, and I know just the right kind of jewelry to go with it. Uh, get me my box. Oh, have some cake. Thank you. Ah. What do you think of these for Jean? Mm -hmm. Oh, sapphires. They ought to go well with organdy. Oh, I see you're an expert, Mr. Dumont. Ah, you might as well take these two. And I'll wear my big stone tonight. What do you think of it? Mm -hmm. Must be about 17 carats. Exactly 17. You know your jewels, Mr. Dumont, doesn't he, Jean? He certainly does. It is hard to believe that this is real. <laughs> Jean, remember when we had it insured? <laughs> the man brought two experts with him to guarantee that it was genuine. <laughs> anyway, tonight we have Mr. Dumont with us, and we needn't worry that anyone will rob us. Uh, if you'll excuse me now, I'd like to rest a little before the opera. Oh, don't let me disturb you. Finish your tea, Jean. Jane will be back in a minute. She just has to help me for my shoes. I shall see you later, madam. He is a very nice young man. Well bred, well mannered, full of charm. I'm very happy you like him, Mrs. Van Deren. Jane, why don't you look at me? Are you blushing again? I'll get you medicine, Mrs. Van Deren. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to get rid of me quickly so you can return to him. Oh, no, you quite misunderstand. Ah, uh, don't apologize. When I first met my husband, I was about your age and just as much in love. <laughs> You're in love with him, aren't you? I don't know. <laughs> After all, I only just met him. No, oh, you can't fool me. He's all in your face, everything. You don't want to take your medicine? Don't bother about me. You go right back to your young man now and wake me up in an hour. <sighs> 10 or 15 minutes. 
Mm hmm Thank you very much. Oh, Jean. I just got a call from a business friend who's leaving Paris in an hour. I'm afraid I'll have to see him before he goes. Oh, I'd hope to be alone with you for a minute. I can't now. We'll slip away after the opera, hmm? What's the matter? Nothing, nothing. Why don't you want to kiss me? Andre, I really would like to talk to you now. Oh, but I just haven't time now. Can't it wait till tonight? Oh, all right, Andre. Where are you going? I was just on my way to tell you. The man who called before, the man who's leaving Paris, well, he just called back. I'm afraid I'll have to go with him. I'm awfully sorry, Jean. Who is he? Was he here last night? Why? I wanted to bring you to Walt Whitman last night, and there was some man here who asked me all sorts of questions about you. What did he ask you? Andre, is there something you're trying to hide from me? Perhaps, Jean. Come in. I came for your bags, monsieur. Uh, yes, you can take these two. Excuse me, I have to get a few more things together. Oh. Thank you, Jean. I'll go with you to the station. <sighs> we'll only make you late. Oh, that's all right. I'm going with you. I'll be back before Mrs. Van Duren wakes up. All right. Well, let's go then. I made a good guess. Your train doesn't leave for half an hour. That'll give us plenty of time to talk. And you say that since Monsieur Dumont left, nobody else was in this room? Nobody, except Miss Colton, my companion. And I trust her implicitly. In this case, everything points to Monsieur Dumont. Monsieur Joliet knows the diamond well. He repaired the chain for me. Miss Colton picked it up only yesterday. I studied the stone. Oh, madame. The beauty of it, the color, the fire. All right, all right. Well, all we can do for the time being is to broadcast a description of Monsieur Dumont and hope for the best. Come in. Oh, Jean, where have you been all this time? Miss Colton was with me. I'm from the insurance company. My name is Brent, Charles Brent. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, this is... Uh, we know each other. Monsieur Gravé, Monsieur Joliet. How do you do? You were in my shop yesterday, weren't you, Mr. Brandt? That's right. I came in right after Miss Colton picked up the diamond. You were there? Yes, Mrs. Van Deeren. We've kept close tab on all your jewels ever since you lost that armor last year. That one cost my company $35,000. My diamond isn't lost. 
It has been stolen. Don't worry. We've got it back already. This is it, isn't it? Why, yes, of course, but... Uh... Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Oh, Brent, I think you owe us an explanation. I do. Oh, mon dieu. What's wrong? This is not the diamond. It's simply a piece of glass, a very clever imitation. Are you sure? Positive. Did you by any chance wear an imitation? Of course not. Why should I? Oh, it's not that unusual. We have a great many clients who wear copies of their jewels and keep the real ones in the safe. But you always wear the real ones? Why, yes, I certainly did. These Dumont must have exchanged them. Very unlikely. I should think it takes quite some time to make a good copy. Doesn't it, Mr. Joliet? At least two weeks. There you are. And the stone was in your safe until yesterday, right? Quite right. Mrs. Van Deeren, are you certain you didn't have a copy made of it? Are you by any chance implying that I... The fact remains that one of your other jewels disappeared under mysterious circumstances. It fell overboard on a yachting trip. I don't see what's so mysterious about that. I find it much more mysterious that you come in here with a glass copy of my stone. Where did you get it? From Monsieur Dumont. I took it away from him. Ah, then you saw him again. Perhaps you're in on this. Just a moment, please. You picked up the real stone yesterday at Monsieur Joliet's and brought it here? Yes. Then it's quite possible that the diamond is still here. Or did you at any time take it out of this room, Mrs. Van Deren? I never left my room. Did you open the box in the last 24 hours? Only when this man Dumont was here. And once, yesterday afternoon, when you were sitting there painting a miniature, you said you wanted to look at a turquoise to match the color. You were painting that brooch you're wearing now. May I see that brooch, please? Why? I've always been interested in miniature paintings. Monsieur Joliet, would you say this is the real one? No question about it. You can come in now. This is Monsieur Latour, alias Dumont. Would you please tell these gentlemen what you told me? I was... I was hired by this woman to steal a glass copy of her diamond and then disappear with it. It was part of the plan that I got acquainted with Miss Colton. She was supposed to introduce me here, and she did. This afternoon, I was left alone in this room so I could steal the imitation. Later, Miss Colton would have been the witness. Only it didn't turn out that way. Miss Colton discovered the theft too early. If it hadn't been for her, I would by now be across the border. I would have thrown the glass copy away, and nobody could have proven anything. And we would have had a shell out the insurance money. $200,000. A very clever plan. Thank you. And who ruined it? <laughs> A stupid girl who fell in love. Well, gentlemen, I'm ready to go. Thank you. 